Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Mini a True Nerd, and welcome back to Skyrim, where last time we managed to make it like half the way from Carf Waston to Markarth. We found the Lover's Stone, we killed an awful, awful lot of Forsworn, they didn't really do anything, we just invaded their house and started murdering them. And we made a deal with Hagraven, who gave us a staff that lets us cast Fireball, which is very, very nice indeed, I would say. Today, yes indeed. Well, first up, we've got a little mine here, so I find it very likely this is Skyrim. A miner's going to run up to me and be like, Hey, don't go inside the mine, it's infested with spiders. Uh, no, actually, this is just a Forsworn mine, so they just straight up murder you instead. So that's, you know, kind of sad. Right, go for you, we've discovered a mine, and you yield, do you? I don't care, you're dead now. Oh, I'm being shot in the back by arrows, though. Ben, or go deal with that. Right, quick heal. I also decided to... Hang on, no. There we go. I also decided to reset my conjuration to... My conjuration just skipped from 15 to 18. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, once you get a skill to be legendary, obviously you're casting very advanced magic for a level 15 character. So as a result, you can get it back up pretty bloody quickly. <laughs> Oh, marvellous. It just skipped from 15 to 18 in one go, so that's three, uh, that's kind of three steps towards the next level already. In all fairness, that's not actually that good in some ways, because that means, obviously, um, you start picking up points very quickly. When skill points being picked up so quickly means you're levelling up super quickly. And when you level up super quickly, that means the enemies start getting tougher super quickly. But the reason it was necessary was because it effectively removed the level cap, because I think, like, if you got every skill to 100 in the base game, you cap out at level... I think it's 82, if I recall. It's like somewhere in the 80s, I think. Um, but obviously, when you can reset the skills and just kind of keep cycling them, as a result, it effectively removes the level cap. So, Carf Waston over there, Markarth over here. So, what's this road for then? Hang on, what way am I facing? That is. Uh, that's just heading south. Fine. We've already kind of passed by there because we've been to Reach Water Rock. That just kind of leads down to, eventually, to that area with the... That's the um the forge thing, the special forge that I've heard about. Fine. Let's not worry about that for now. But, as we're literally passing by, and this is supposed to be a mine, but I don't actually see a, a mine here. I'm guessing the entrance to the mine is, like, is it inside this house? I guess so. Right, let's go and have a quick investigate. No, this is someone's house, locked novice. Well, as I'm passing by, I think I might have just killed the guy. Yep. House. Basement. Weapons and conjuration out. No. No one here. No entrance to a mine. Just possibly the miner that worked here before the Forsworn came and killed him, I would guess. I can't remember what the Forsworn's deal is, by the way. They come across as not desperately nice people, though, I will admit. So, fairly quiet bit of the world around here, actually. Not a huge amount of stuff. And actually... I think we might have already made it. If you're seeing the stable symbol, stables normally means you're literally pretty much at the edge of the city. So actually, we might have been just around the corner. Oh yeah, I think we're far, far close to Markarth than I was anticipating. I thought we might have to spend another day journeying around, being distracted by things, but no. No, it feels like with all of these things and that symbol right there, we might have actually flipping made it. Now there's nothing in the way but like a handful of windmills and farms and whatever. Yeah, we've made it! Mark off! Yep, there's the path up to the city right there. There are the guards. Now, just quickly check the signs here. So this is the... Ah! The road to Whiterun is down there. So, I'm guessing there is like a... I guess that was going to be like a cut through to... I don't know, Rorikstead? But if so, I'm surprised I didn't see that before. Because the road to Rorikstead led me up here. So, I'm not too sure what that road's going to... B, to be honest, unless it goes really far south, but okay, you know what? That's fine. Let's go put our weapons away and say hello to the guards and whatever. Hello! I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of knee. Fine, that's a fairly generic introduction, but whatever. Oh yeah, I'd forgotten this. I really like, well, I kind of like the architecture around here. I like the fact they've got these really distinctive stone buildings. I wouldn't want to live in one myself because they feel very cold and dark, but still... It's nice. Hello. My boy Leontius lives in Old Rolden. Damn drunk. Why don't you tell me about Old Rolden or something? That's right. Old Inn to the south. The Oaf doesn't even bother to visit these days. What am I supposed to do if the dragons burn down the farm? You're a traveler, right? I have this letter for him. Let him know how much of a failure he is. 
Well, you're just a flipping lovely, lovely man, aren't you? What exactly would your son do if a dragon did attack? That's my job. I'm the dragonborn. Good. You make sure the lug tips you when he gets it. Excellent. I've just got to deliver a letter basically mm. saying that this guy's... Oh, wait, hang on. You got any work for me by any chance other than just picking like potatoes? Like, what, have you been staring at your feet this whole time? You see that big city up ahead of you? Markarth? Head over there. Unless you feel like helping my wife pick crops. And then 50 years later, you'll wake up and still be here. Okay, so this guy is actually kind of like him. Right. He's pleasingly grumpy. Right, don't accidentally step on his chicken. He'll murder me for that. Right, on we flipping go then. And there we are. Marco, we flipping made it. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now there's also a... Oh, hello. Workers dispute at the mine by any chance. you, Forsworn have taken Kolskager mine. We're the only ones left. You two head inside and get some rest. I'll send word to the Yarl. Ah, and this is the guy whose house we just saw. Kolskager mine is lost, friend. Forsworn killed everyone. Don't worry, I actually killed all of them already. Was. Forsworn came in the night, killed everyone. Gat and I are the only ones who escaped. Hopefully Skaggy will send word to the Jarl and something will be done. Oh, wait, hang on, no, or is this the mine? Was your house just further out, but this is the mine? I'd be grateful. Kolskager is my home. But I wouldn't go there if I were you. There's a whole group of them with axes and magic on their side. You'd never stand a chance. Oh, I think I'd be fine. Skaggy is in charge, not me. Ah, yes indeed. So, we've got this mine right here. You're not going to help, are you? Go fiddling with any locks around here. We're going to have a real problem. There is apparently, like, literally force one in that mine, and you're not going to bother dealing with it. All right, fine, whatever. Fancy robes. Wizard or something? Ah, and Skaggy Scarface, you're the leader apparently. Damn Forsworn. Only a matter of time before they hit here too. I thought they had hit here, I thought that was the entire point. You just told me to clear them out of the mine. That I do. If you want to grab a pickaxe and dig up some iron, feel free. I'll pay for anything you bring me. I'm getting such mixed messages about this here bloody mine. Yeah, clear the Forsworn from this mine. And it's this mine right here, isn't it? Right? Yes? No? No, this is left-hand mine. Right, so you do need me to clear it out of that mine, where I couldn't even find a mine. Right, well, I'll go and do that then. Ah, the mine's up top there. Right, okay. Probably. Well, actually, no, it's it's not. The mine is technically marked as I've already found it, and it's here. And I just fast-traveled to it, and it's, it's here. So, okay, hang the flip on here. Ah, there's a little path up here to the mine which is presumably down at the back. Got it. So I could have already killed these guys. But that's okay. I'll make up for it. I'll kill them now. Good, good, good. Dead Forsworn. Lovely. Now, quick aura whisper. Let's see what we've got going on here. And we've got ourselves a few people. Not so many. Maybe like five total. Fine. And prepare a Dramora Lord. Any minute now. And remember, I've got to cast it pretty close these days. There he goes. Conjuration just goes up from 18 to 20. You go over there, take out those guys. Don't take these guys on directly. Pillagers, especially really fast, dual-wielding ones, will do terrible, terrible damage to me. Right. He's very dead. Anyone else coming in immediately? No, we're all right. Now, what mine is this, by the way? This is... Ooh, this is a gold mine. Ooh. Okay. My interest in this mine suddenly just went up. Oh, hang on. Hang on, guys. We've got... Where's the flipping guys? Oh dear. Right. We got trouble there, but that's okay. It seems to be under control now. So they've got a really powerful magic user. What I'm going to do is I'm going to help out by evening the odds a bit. So... Boom. You're now calm. You're now going for... No, don't you go for me. You're now calm. Beautiful. Now, let's take out the ones who are currently not actually, like, you know, causing trouble. Just keep this guy nice and calm. Lovely. Now, he goes down. We've technically won. And then we just need to take out... Yeah, now, just keep that guy over there. Calm, please. No. Stay. Calm. Nice. Don't get involved. And how fast is my magic coming back these days? That feels not that fast, to be honest. Actually, it's okay. It'll flipping do. Let's just help this guy go down quickly. I stab him. Lovely. Now quickly get behind this guy. Can we be hidden? Hidden? 
And the sneak attack will do the nice work there. 77. Now, I think there's technically one more alive in here as well. Because, also, how much gold is that? Oh, there's a lot of gold here. There's an awful Benor. Benor, there's so much gold. We could be rich. Okay. Oh, dear. Right. Okay. I was worried there for a second. I thought, where the bloody hell's Benor? Benor hasn't gone down, has he? No. Benor's fine. Right. It's okay. It's all right. Just go for this guy. And... Oh, he was a basic one, actually. I think he was just a basic. Right. Good. Job flipping done, then. Everyone cleared out. Now, Benor, hand me the pickaxe. We've got work to do. Right. Pickaxe. And commence mining gold. And also flawless rubies, because I didn't have enough of bloody them. Oh my goodness, there's so many gold ore veins. I'm going to be able to make so much jewellery from this. Oh, there's even flipping more in the back rooms. Oh, there's just bonus gold ingots and more gold ore sitting up top. Blimey. I'm surprised the yarn hasn't already showed up with the entire army of flipping Markarth. This is the most ridiculously valuable gold mine I've ever found. Right, I think I've cleared the place out of gold and got about 60 gold ore out of it. Now, time to go and demand payment for what I've just done regardless. Oh, wait, hang on. I can save some weight by using the smelter. Right, this is just the stuff I've got on me. And now add in what Benor was carrying too. Lovely. For a total of, on my journey, three silver ingots, and oh bloody hell how many, and it is 27 gold ingots now, and also a spare gold ore. Right, let's go turn that into something useful, but actually I'm going to demand to be paid for this job regardless, because I'm nothing if not mercenary. Right, back over to left hand, and he's, weirdly, the quest saying have to go in here, but this building's locked. Am I committing a crime by turning in this quest? Because if so, that'd be very annoying. No, I have just added to the bounty by doing that. By the order of the yard. Stop right there. Okay, that's ridiculous. No, no, no. Reload this madness. He's going to come outside sooner or later. Right, he can't just... That's not fair, game. You can't have a flipping person who I need to turn a quest into hanging around inside forever inside a building where if I crack the lock of it, that's technically a crime and I immediately get arrested by the guards come surrounded by witnesses. That's just not bloody fair. Also, some vampires just showed up. Right, that's interesting. You know why I like that? Because it means I can summon something. And when I summon something, my conjuration jumps up like two levels ago. No, bad death hound. Don't kill that woman. Oh, too late. You kind of you kind of did. Sorry. Still, key to Skaggy's house. That's nice. I'll have the flipping uh, jewelry as well. Lovely. So you're dead. Uh, anyone else gonna die here? Possibly yes. Master vampire dies too. Have the dust. Leave the rest. Oh, hang on. What was that? Oh, that was a Nordic sword. Yeah, that's cool. And after all that fuss, still doesn't want to come outside for the day. Fine. So I think what I need to do is I need to be hidden. And then crack the lock. Yep, fine. That time I didn't pick up five gold on the bounty. But am I technically trespassing right now? Hello. I've saved your mine or something. That spell looks dangerous. Keep your distance. Look, I've saved your bloody mine. Shut up. You drove them off? By yourself? Thank you. We'll head back to work right away. Take this. It's the least I can do. Nice. 1,500 gold. <laughs> Good day. And I, by the way, I've also kind of taken all the gold out of your mind, but never mind, eh? So, that's that taken care of, and I'm pretty sure I've leveled up. No, have I not? Okay, apparently I have not quite. Sorry, I thought I'd leveled up. I'm just incredibly close to it. One more rank should indeed do the job. So, on we go, and we're also going to have... Uh, momentarily, we just kind of loop around here. A light mark half. It's got like it feels like proper defences. Like, you know, you could have archers lined up here and on the towers. And any enemy that came up this way would have to kind of, you know, file past them. You'd have a really good shot at them. And then there's more good defences there. It's just a really fun little area. Right. Now, stables, then Markarth itself. And if I recall correctly, there's a ridiculously well-paid stupid quest down here. If I recall. Because I need to deliver some dog food up to the Yarl. And you'll pay me a stupidly large amount of money for it. You need a reliable horse in the reach. That's what we have. No, 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 none of that. I don't need, actually need a horse. What about you? Need a trained war dog? Fiercest companion money can buy. Oh, yeah. I can't remember if this counts as a companion. You know what? Fine. You know what? I'll take a dog. I'll have a dog. He'll probably die and I'll be really sad. But for the moment at least, yes, I'll have a dog. Sure. Good. Here you are. He'll follow you to oblivion and back, if it comes to that. 
I'm trying to remember what the rules for this dog are at this point. Oh, your name's Vigilance. Oh, you're a good boy. Right. No, actually, no, no, no. Don't wait here. You need to follow me. So now I've got a Benor, presumably, and a Vigilance, and also... <laughs> Well, technically right now, only uh, one Atronite. But yeah, when I get it back up to 100 a second time, if that ever happens, then as a result, uh, yeah, I'd be able to also have twin souls. So I could have two Atronax and a dog and a Benor and an occasional, like, temporary quest companion or whatever. I swear there's someone that gives you, like, a quest to carry some dog food up to... Maybe it's this guy, actually, if I ask after who runs the city. That would be Jarl Igmund, young for a ruler of a hold, especially the Leech. Wasn't surprising he stayed loyal to the Empire. His father helped capture Ulfric Stormcloak after the Markarth incident. Yes, I don't care about that. Just tell me... Oh, never mind. You just want to tell me the history. Oh, go on then. Give us the history of the town. It's the whole reason Ulfric revolted against the Empire. Well, the first reason, anyway. Forsworn had taken over Markarth, and Ulfric and his men drove them out. Empire promised they'd be free to worship Talos afterwards. Pity no one told the elves. Whole group of those Thalmor came and they demanded Ulfric's arrest. Okay, and what's your version as to what exactly the Forsworn are? Before the Nords came, we worshipped the old gods, had our own kingdom. Times have been good and bad since then, but some folks couldn't handle not ruling their own land. Those are the Forsworn. The Forsworn follow the old ways. Some of those were best forgotten. Blood sacrifices, communing with Daedra. It's the road to Rome. Okay, fair enough. You don't want to pay me to deliver dog food? I guess that's okay too. Now, the moment we go into this city, something interesting is going to happen, which is there's going to be a murder. What some people miss is you can stop the murder happening if you're fast enough. So that's what I'm going to try and do. So to give myself more time, I'm going to use the shout, or rather have it ready, slow time. I'm going to have slow time, ready to go. Weapons out, and the moment someone runs up and tries to knife someone in the back, we stop them. Because if we do that, then the woman you save can actually, um, she'll speak to you later. I think she gives you a reward you wouldn't get otherwise, which is kind of cool. Plus, it means you get to stop a murder. Right. Who's a good boy, Vigilance? Oh, you're such a good boy. Lack of a mental Irish wolfhound here. He's going to die, isn't he? I'm going to be so flipping sad when he does. Right, let's get in here. And just wait for the moment. Wait this for it. And... Yep. Yeah. Slow, 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 slow. You've decided to attack someone and don't do it. Weapon away. I've just saved everyone's life. Because otherwise, one of these women was about to die. And I'll just quickly help myself with stuff too. And yes, this person was going to draw a dagger and stab one of these women. But instead... It was... Ah, apparently it was you. Oh, no, he tried to kill uh, Margaret right in front of me. By the gods, that man nearly killed me. You <coughs> saved my life. Thank you. Here. I was going to bring this to my sister, but I think you should have it. Well, that's very decent of you. So I've just got myself a silver emerald necklace. Lovely. And any idea why he would attack you? No. I don't have any idea. I was just shopping for a pendant for my sister back in the Imperial City. I see. And know anything about these Forsworn? I've heard of them. Something about the men who live in the hills and attack caravans. I'm sorry. I don't know anymore. I'm just visiting here from Cyrodiil. Okay. So, an Imperial. So this guy wants to murder an Imperial. Right. Lovely. Job done then. Ah, oh, this city's lovely. Full of steep steps and... I need to ask you to stop. That shouting is making people nervous. I literally saved a woman's life by shouting, alright? Be bloody appreciative. Good. Glad we straightened that out. Luckily you don't pick up a bounty for shouting at least, but uh, yes indeed, uh, I've got that done. Now, time to try and remember where everything is around here. What's this? Is that a... Ah! A woman attacked right on the streets. Are you alright? Did you see what happened? Yeah, I flipping saved her life. He almost... No, he didn't. I just basically knackered him. It's fine. Right, sorry, you want to start off the quest related to Mark after, do you? So, uh, yeah, I was right there. He almost... He didn't almost kill me, but I don't have the option to say, yeah, I'm the big damn hero, actually. I'm so sorry. I hope the aid give you more peace in the future. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. 
Looks important. My goodness, a note? What's going on here? And do you know anything about the attack, Eltress? Hmm? No. I was just getting some fresh air. I had one too many pints of mead at the Silver Blood Inn. All right. Let's just quickly read this here note to kick off that quest. Meet me at the Shrine of Talos. So this guy wants to speak. And the Forsworn Conspiracy begins. Let's not worry about that for now. No, this, I'm guessing, is a general store. And that is exactly what I flipping need. You there. If you're here to trade, step up to the counter. Um, I would do, but you're literally too far away. There we go. No, I'm not Arnleaf. Yes, I know it's called Arnleaf and Sons. Oh, go on, this clearly annoys her. Who's Arnleaf then? I inherited the store from my husband. His father was Arnleaf. My husband, Gunnar, died about five years ago. For sworn attack. I miss that stubborn oaf. Oh, that's quite a sad story. Right, there's... Actually, I just want to... There we are! I just want to know what's for sale. It's fine. What sort of stuff do you sell, by the way? Yes, you are indeed a general store. The most valuable of all stores. Beautiful. You know, I do find it odd that it's actually even possible for shops in this game to spawn spell tome flames, given that's literally impossible for anyone not to know. Every character in the game starts with flames. You can't not know it. And as far as I'm aware, there's no way to forget a spell, so uh, literally that book is useless. There's no reason to ever buy it. Well, tragically, she's actually run out of money pretty much almost immediately, okay. but never mind, I guess. I like the fact I've now got a dog following me around. That's the best thing. Right, very important thing I need to do first, which is, yes, over here, in this direction, you, I believe, are the blacksmith and forge and all of that sort of thing. Yes, perfect. So, ignore you completely. Instead, I want to just use your forge over to jewellery. And now I can make myself an awful lot of... An awful, awful lot of good stuff, in fact, yes. Right, let's start off with... Oh, yes. Yes, what's the most valuable thing we can do here? For sapphire and gold, yeah. The gold stuff there, that's the stuff, right. Let's start off with the gold sapphire rings here. So we'll just create a whole bunch of them. And it's also going to get... Oh, this is going to get my smithing skill up in a flipping hurry. And gold ruby necklace as well, please. Yep, lovely. Let's just get some of them into production too. And a gold jewel necklace as well. Spot flipping on. And I've also got some silver ingots. Don't forget about them. Oh, yes, silver emerald necklace. That's just the thing. And smithing at 43. Silver jeweled necklace. Oh, yes, that'll do as well. Uh, now, technically, I'm actually out of jewels. I've finally managed to burn through all my bloody jewels. But to be honest, I'm happy just to... Actually, I'm not. I'm not happy just to produce these, because if I just produce these, I get less smithing, because smithing goes up as a function of value. I'll wait till I'm back in white run, then I can do the more expensive stuff, because I've got a whole bunch of spare jewels just in, like, a bedside cabinet somewhere. Also, I can level up at this point. Marvelous. I need more magicka. I just need more magicka, damn it. And conjuration's already up to 22. So I can already have mystic binding, and then very soon indeed, yes, I can actually have uh, soul stealer back again. So let's take Mystic Binding again. Don't need to bother with that, however. And then the... Hang on. No, 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 no. None of those. There we go. Yeah, double duration for Conjunct Track is only at 40. That will actually be pretty bloody soon. But actually, a uh, Summoner is only at 30. Oh, yeah. Twice as far away at 30. That's a really good deal. Now, while I think about it, um, Smithing, if I recall correctly... Yeah. At 60, I can take Arcane Blacksmith, so then I don't need to redo things. I can just improve them if I do get my uh, smithing up a bit further to actually improve the condition. So, it might be worth me taking Steel Smithing, just for the sake of being able to take... Actually, let's leave it for now. I'll make my decision down the line. But that's all fine for the time being. I don't think there's anything else I need to rush to. I'm not planning, by the way, to um, set one hand as a Legendary, because one hand is quite slow to level up, and it directly, like, is a function of how much damage I can do. Whereas, like, I can still do a lot of good work with Conjuration, even having reset it. So, I'm not planning to reset one-handed, say. And I didn't realise it was going to actually level up this stupidly quickly afterwards. I've barely done any fighting since I said it's legendary, and it's already gone up by seven. Right, priority one. Here we are, up to the palace, whatever it is, under Stone Keep. Need to go find the court wizard, see what we can figure out from them, together with Vigilance and Benor. Because I imagine, as we were specifically warned, hey, he won't give up the knowledge easily, he might have a quest for us first. 
And I suspect a conversation's about to happen in front of me too. What are you hiding, priest? I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. Typical Imperial lies. First, you take away Talos. Now you're keeping us from seeing our honored dead? You and the Jarl will answer for any desecration of my ancestors' bodies. That's enough, Thongvor. We're done. Hello? What's this, then? The you will need to talk to me by any chance? Will about the hurt. Hall of the Dead. No, you can't go in there. Can't go in the Hall of the Dead? And why is that, then? I can't talk about it. Rest assured, the Jarl hears everyone's concerns. You will be able to visit the dead again soon. Okay, and yeah, I've got pretty good speech. I'll give this a go. All right. I was going to suggest the Jarl hire someone to sort this mess out anyway. We've discovered that some of the dead have been... eaten. Flesh has been chewed off. Bones were snapped to get at the marrow inside. We haven't caught anyone or anything yet. It's like it knows when I'm there. If you can get to the bottom of this, the priesthood of Arcade will reward you. Take my key and be careful. Right, okay, so presumably vampires then. Gotcha. And now I've got a new quest over there. Lovely. Now, first we need to find the Court Wizard. There's going to be the Arl through there. Court Wizard is presumably around here somewhere. Completely ignore the Yarl for now. Don't approach the Yarl. We're going off in this direction. Ooh, hello! We've got flipping named Thalma here as well. Okay, and why exactly are you here then? As if this craggy wretch of a city could give birth to a superiorly bred Myr such as myself. No, I'm not from Markarth. I was sent here to lead the Thalmor's interests in this corner of Skyrim. It's my mission to root out all Talos worship in the city. Well, there is literally actually a Talos Shrine, so you might want to start there, just a suggestion. It's a religious matter. The Thormor do not recognize Talos as a god. He was only a man, and does not deserve a place in our pantheon. The Empire has agreed to accept our beliefs, and its citizens have a responsibility to cease their heretical worship. You're awfully inquisitive, aren't you? I like that. Perhaps you'd care to solve a little problem I'm having. Oh, I am very good at doing what people tell me to do. Oldman the Scout. He's old, respected, and I know for a fact that he worships Talos in his home. But the Yarrow has been hesitant to call for his arrest. I want you to break into his home and find evidence. Okay, find evidence of his Talos worship and then possibly choose a side between the Thalma and him. And generally everyone agrees, like, you know, it doesn't matter whether you're on the side of the Stormcloaks or the Imperials, everyone basically seems to agree the Thalma are the bad guys. So, uh, you know what, maybe take his side if we have the option to. But still, nice that we've got that as an option. Now over here, feels like I need to find, no, not Voalda. Just need to find my way round to wherever that guy is. He's clearly through there somewhere. Except I can't get through there any further. Right, okay. Is this guy located in, like, the Hall of the Dead or something? Yeah, this feels like more of the right direction. Down towards where, presumably, the Hall of the Dead was. Ah! Right. Okay. I can't deny, this is one of the coolest rooms I've been in for quite a while. This is pretty badass. Yes, you're not in the kitchen. You're in the mega awesome room with all the magical equipment. Okay, now. Hang on. Before we speak to him, there might be a Persuade coming on here. So, let's just stick on Amulet of Debella. Very nice. Hello over there. I've potentially got a favor to ask. What are you doing here? The excavation site is closed. I don't need any more workers or guards. Okay, and yeah, tell me about this excavation site before we get to the rest of it. The Shuan Zell? The ruins underneath Markarth? The wealth of artifacts that I've based two human lifetimes of research on? You idiot! Do you even know who I am? the most recognized scholar on the Dwemer in all of Tamriel. And you people keep bothering me. I... I'm sorry, I... I got too excited. I'm in the middle of some very stressful work, and I, and I shouldn't have yelled. How can I help you? Well, one, I could actually help you with the excavation business. Persistent, aren't you? Oh, very well. Who am I to stand in the way of curiosity? I'll let you in if you agree to something for me. There's a giant spider in the Chuanzel. My workers call her Nimi, the poisoned one. If you deal with Nimi, 
I'll let you into both the excavation site and my Dwemer Museum. What do you say? I struggle to take this quest seriously because the spider's called Nimi, um, and a close friend has a cat whose name is Nimi, or rather his nickname is Nimi, and he's the sweetest, most bratty ginger cat you've ever met in your life. So the fact we now have to kind of, you know, approach the terrifying poisoned one everyone's scared of and it's called Nimi slightly amuses me. Enthusiasm. Good. Here's the key to the dig site. Right, so we can go and kill Nimi at some point, that's fine, but here you're an authority on ancient Falma. Then you were well informed. I am at this very moment on the cusp of completing my magnum opus on the subject. I'm calling it Calselmo's Guide to the Falmer Tongue. It will revolutionize the way we understand those ancient beings. And I'm going to guess that you're going to need like one more thing found at the bottom of a dungeon before it's complete. Preposterous. That research represents years of personal toil in some of the most dangerous Dwemer ruins in Skyrim. You must be mad to think I'd allow anyone to see it before it's completed. Okay, but what if I was willing to persuade you because I've got pretty good speech? What kind of a mentor would I be if I denied a potential student a glimpse at his master's ingenuity? Nice. Here, this key will provide access to my museum. Feel free to browse for as long as you wish. However, I must insist that my laboratory remains strictly off-limits. Break into the laboratory. Got it. Beautiful. And actually, while I'm passing by, I've got ten bajillion things to enchant, so I'm just going to use your enchanter. Do I have enough soul gems for this? Uh, you know what? I've got a bunch of ones. It'll be fine. So let's just quickly put, uh, fortify if we can. Sneak on literally everything, because sneak is great. I've actually got so much stuff to enchant at this point, I think I'm going to actually run out of, like, soul gems that aren't my greater ones. Though, in all fairness, I've got seven grand, five black, the black star itself, together with 14 greater. You know what, I could just use some of my greater, it's fine. Okay, I've burned through literally all of my soul gems, excluding black star, black soul gems, and grand soul gems, and I've still got nine gold sapphire rings left. Because I just made so bloody many of them. So that's fine. We're up to Enchanting 90. That'll flipping do. And I'm going to guess his museum is just the other side over here. The Dwemer Museum isn't open to anyone without the court wizard's permission. I literally have his permission. If you want in, Kalsuma has to give his say so. He already has. I've literally already been told by him I can. Just, I'm allowed in. Am I actually allowed in anyway? Because I have actually been given permission. Is, is that fine? Well, it is locked, but I've, I've got the key, haven't I? Yeah, I've got the key. I'm just allowed in. Yeah, okay, fine. That hasn't added to my bounty, so I don't think I've committed a crime, even though he blatantly saw me. Right, lovely. Now, I've got to obtain his further translating guide. And you are not... No, good. Excellent. Because I'm allowed in here, these guards aren't attacking me. I'm guessing otherwise I'd either have to, like, sneak around them or go invisible or otherwise merge them. But it's fine. Everything's fine. There's also... Ah, okay. There's all sorts of display cases. So if I want some Dwemer stuff, I can pick it out of his display cases. Very, very cool indeed. Question is, I'm allowed to... Yes, I can just go where I want because I've got the key. But apparently, it would still be stealing if I was to steal from the chest. Okay. Or fiddling with any locks around here. We're going to have a real problem. Well, that's a shame because that's exactly what I was just planning to do. Ah, this is intriguing. Back room here, but with a pressure plate. Right. Benor and Vigilance, don't do that. Okay? Do not step on the plate. Ooh. Valuable things. But you know what? I've got enough valuable jewellery. I can't even sell the damn stuff. It's fine. All right? Let's just get out of here. This is just a back room. Not what we really wanted. Don't hit the thing on your way out either. Please, both of you don't. Good Vigilance. You're a good boy. Ah. Benor's done good work as well today. Now, I'm going to guess we're going up here. What I need to do, however, is be hidden. That should be fine. There's no guards anywhere around here. There we go. Actually, I have the key already. Perfect. Now, is anyone actually in here? Let's just quickly check on that. Just a quick... Yes. Or a whisper. Yeah. Wherever I am right now, technically... There are people around. Okay. Who's in here and do I need to fight my way past them? 
these people. What am I seeing? I see a bunch of guards there. That's a gate. Okay. I think we might want to try and do this sneaky like. Right, guys. Come over here. I'm going to try and do this by myself. Okay. With some vast and whatever. So vigilant. Good boy. Wait here. Who's a good dog? Benor, you're also a good boy. You wait here as well. Go on ahead. He doesn't like the fact I'm patronising him. I don't think. No. Right. It's time for... Oh. We've got a guard over there. Right. Now. We know what we need to do. Amulet of Talos. Vast repeatedly. Use that to get around the back of here. And now there's a bunch of guards. Okay. I know where the guards are. I know which way they're facing. I know we can't get up there. We need to keep pushing our way through here. Vass. Right, keep vassing for a long, long time. Problem is, I think these guys need to go down. Yeah, I think we need to just assassinate a couple of guards nice and quiet. Right, go. And one guard goes down. Nice and silent, please. Nice and silent. New muffle. Vass. New vass. So, guard over there. Wait for you to make your routine known to me. Are you just looping around there? Fine. So what she does is she just walks in a big loop around that area. Fine. So probably the best thing I can do is, are you actually going over there? Yeah, the best thing I can do is wait for her to head around this part of her routine and then catch up with her there. Vass. Vass there. Round this here. Pillow. Go, 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 bedroom, but as we're murdering people, we may as well kind of rob the rest of the place. Vass. Now, what's up next in terms of people? Not many. We got, ah, we got two guards up ahead. That's more of a problem. Right, two guards and they just walked off. Both walking away. Ah, they are indeed walking, oh come on, where's the, where's the activation point? Where's the activation mechanism? Damn it. They are now just going to walk up and down through this room which works for me because now I just need to find where the on button for all of this is sneak past them quickly yeah just sneak past them it's fine it's all fine no didn't see a thing did you no no you did not okay wait for them to go back that way Lovely, they head back over there. Now come on, give me an on switch, damn it. Give me a flipping on s I don't know where the flipping on switch is. I'm so good at setting off traps normally, the one time I want to, I can't flipping figure out how to do it. And I'm guessing there's a way down around that way. But I'm just not sure... Is the activation point going to be down there? Because I saw there were stairs down both sides, just bypass this room. But with my stealth, I can just get around it anyway. I'm going to guess... Down here, there's... Ah! Poisoned gas room. Gotcha. Vass. Right, one quick vas. They're pretty far away right now. Just let them come to me. Then turn back around. And they turn back around. Head back the way they came. Open the door. Straight on. Close door behind me. Master flipping infiltrator here. Illusion up. Make sure we're muffled. Now... Vass. What's next? We've got ourselves. One guy there, one guy there. Fine. Double assassination seems eminently doable, especially if one of the guys is sitting, as I think that one is. Now, what's going on in here exactly? One guy over there. One guy here, yeah. One guy sitting, but I think facing in this direction. Which is a little bit risky. It's only you two, right? Yeah, it's only you two. Wait for him to come back out. We'll catch him on the way back out to get that guy out of the way. Vass. Vass again. 
Round the back, 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 round the back. Hold still, hold still, hold still. And just in the nick of time. She was just turning there. Good. Right. More goes down. More keys and more gold. Lovely. And behind you. Aha. Sneak up behind this guy as well. Lovely. And down you go too. Nice. Now, what else is left? Anyone in this final room? Nope. I believe we've... Oh, yes. Yes, there is. There's still a couple of people dotted around yet. We're not quite done. Now, a couple of people there. What are we going to do with you guys? There's what looks like... One person seated, one person walking backwards and forwards. Right, might be able to get both of them down without too much difficulty. If we can just get behind the guy who's walking, if I get the blade on him, the other guy will go down nice and easy. Move over to this side, yeah. It's when he's moving over there, that'll be the time to do it. I just need to wait for him to be... Actually, you've probably got more time over on this side, but someone's more likely to sit, yeah. It's about now-ish, and... Go! Lovely. Spot on. Silent. Next guy. Over to you. And... Oh, sorry. Wait, you were a... Were you a named person? Did I just kill a name? I think I just killed a named person. Which is which is fine. Probably. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't realise you were potentially important. You might have been important. Okay. Hopefully he wasn't important. And indeed, I can now open up the shortcut back to the beginning. Open up the door. I'm going to guess this leads back to the very first room where I've got... Yes, indeed, where Benor was. Perfect. But, leave them be. Need to get the thing for myself here. Here we are, the wizard's balcony. I wish I had a wizard's balcony. That seems like a really, really cool thing. How nice is this place, by the way? Ooh, that is nice. Yeah, that's really nice. Admittedly, if you stood here, you get really wet really quickly. But still... It's still nice. Right. Up to the top floor of your secret laboratory. And I've got the key, of course. Now, what's in here, if anything? Yes. According to my sensors, literally nothing alive. Good. Good, 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 good. And nobody ever saw me. Nobody saw a thing. And those that potentially did are now dead, which is, you know, less good, but it, it's still fine. Still absolutely fine, and technically there's not a there's not a way to. All right, you know what? Screw you on the Dragon Ball. Wait, is those stairs? No, there's no stairs. Right, screw you, Dragon Ball. And very good, lovely. There's a there's a door over here. This is just the ah. Is this your secret private quarters and stuff? Well, I'll be having all of the stuff out of this too. I'm already stealing. I may as well steal properly. Ooh, heavy armor goes up for literally no reason thanks to a book there. Oh, yeah, and soul gems. I can gladly help myself to some soul gems every flipping time. Now, activate the stone, please. And you have the items required to make a copy of the inscription. Right. Duplicate the writing on the stone. Okay. What do I need to do that, then? It will be impossible to bring this item to end theatre to have him translate. I'll have to discover a way to make the information more portable. Okay, and suddenly, there's no flipping quest item at all. Right, okay, I'm going to work under the assumption that it's going to be something in here, right? Like some form of Dwemer camera. Well, there's flipping paper. I cannot just use paper and pen to, like, make a copy. Could it be that simple? I mean, there's charcoal and paper. I mean, now I've got charcoal and paper... Is that good enough for me to either make, like, a copy or a rubbing? There we go! I am, in fact, a flipping genius! Marvellous! Uh-oh, 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 there's guards everywhere, there's guards- No, wait, hang on, my mistake, it turns out there's guards literally everywhere. The guards are really annoyed at what I've done, potentially. Right, suddenly guards. Oh dear. Right, reinforcements just- That was not the right shout! Right, muffle up. And prepare for some vass. Uh, right, we need to get out of here now. And a lot of wizards are... Ah, I think the wizards are all coming this way up that staircase. Fine, but now there's none over there. Okay, that means I can just go out the way I came, right? Yeah, close the door again. We ready? Just check, we're safe. 
Yes. Okay. They're all... No. Apart from that guy who's irritatingly in the way. Right. Stay up top. Stay up top. Stay up top. Stay up top. Yes. Wait for your opportunity. Right. And then that guy is... Heading over there. Yeah, go, 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 go. Nice! Snuck out. Don't need to kill anyone else. Everything is absolutely fine. Unless there's new guards here as well. Oh, but that's a beautiful view of Markarth at night from up here, the top of this tower. That's beautiful, right there. Now back out the way I just opened. Check for reinforcements. No, a couple of people still there. But that is my Ben Oren, my vigilance. Marvelous, guys. Weapons away. You guys are coming with me now. Now, out we go. Back to the drum museum. Everyone act casual. We were not doing anything wrong. Everything is fine. We were never caught or anything. Hello, we really, really enjoyed that corridor. You know what? It wouldn't be a visit to the keep if we didn't at least say hello to the Jarl while we're passing by. I assume I'm allowed to just go up to him and say hello, just to see if he's got like a big quest for me too. Because I know we've got the Force One conspiracy already. He's He's gone to bed, hasn't he? Is it past his flipping bedtime? This is why we don't let children be Jarls. Right, noon the following day, the flipping Jarl actually bothers to show up and actually, you know, attend to the court. Dear, oh, flipping dear. Right, tell me what's going on. Actually, I was told you were young, but you appear to be very grey-haired to me. All right, fine. You speak to Igmund, son of Orofdia, Jarl of Markarth. And I am indeed looking for work. Are you a sellsword? I don't like your kind. No honor. No loyalty. Unreliable. But I can't turn away a potential ally in these times. Let's see if you're better than a common mercenary. My scouts have tracked down one of the Forsworn leaders, hiding out in their blood-soaked camps. Deal with them. Very well. I'll give it a look if I'm passing by. We will see. Alright, very, very nice indeed. And I'm guessing that I'm not actually allowed to, like, you know, purchase a house or anything until I'm, like, Thane, and probably if I do this mission or whatever, that'll help with that. I don't know you, and I don't sell what precious property we have to outsiders. But if you're willing to work, and you prove to be reliable, I might deem you worthy to live here. My steward will handle things from there. Okay, fair enough. And just in case you um, hadn't noticed, uh, dragons are back in diddly diddly deep. But in all fairness, that was months ago. Yes, I know. We have some advantages if they come here. The city is built into the mountainside, so it's hard to reach into, even from the skies. And everything is made of stone, even the beds. We'll have no trouble from dragon's fire here. You know what? I like your pragmatic way of looking no at things. Very, very nice indeed. And you know what? Ben or Vigilant, I'd say it's time to be on our way. Yes, that is indeed a staircase. Good. I'm not just about to throw myself off a cliff. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I would say that is enough for now. We have got what we need. I think we'll leave Markarth alone for the time being and pay attention instead to the Thieves' Guild. Take that translation back over to Enthia, get the translation and move on with that. See if we can make some progress with the Thieves' Guild quest because we've made it here and hopefully, now that we've been to this side of the map, we can actually make the progress in the rest of the Thieves' Guild a little bit faster. Hopefully wrapping up that guild pretty darn soon. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Skyrim. Thank you very much and goodbye. Okay, guys, I need you out of the way so I can fish. Sorry. I just really, really need to fishing, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Emotions are forbidden, all right? Oh, my goodness, I get to ride a moose. Screw you, you don't get a moose. Oh, I've got an arm. Oh, my goodness, yes. Who's got the giant buzzsaw arm now, you bastard? <laughs>